So I'm standing here in the Boeing P-8A demonstration trailer. It's a mock-up that's designed to show how the Navy's new multi-mission maritime aircraft works. This aircraft is going to do things like anti-submarine and anti-ship patrols. If you're interested in a career in software, software architecture, technology that involves security and, and defense, this is very much the kind of project you might actually work on. And the government and private companies need you, especially if you're interested in cybersecurity. Technology is everywhere today, which means they're vulnerable to attacks in new ways, and they're worried about it. But nearly every day, you see some example of network security in the, in the headlines. Why? Because what is our, our society as a network society at this point? We have 20% uh, of the globe is somewhere on the internet. We do it for everything, from banking, through, uh, through social interface and networking. In our line of business, in the Air Force Association, it's also a national security issue. That's why the Air Force Association created Cyber Patriot. It's a competition that pits teams of high school students against each other as they defend networks against some pretty sophisticated attacks. So part of the magic of Cyber Patriot, I think, is to reach out to kids uh, in, a, in, a, in a stage where they're making critical choices about what they're going to do to further their education and what career field they might go in. It works like this. 200 teams from around the country are set up with virtual networks. They're not particularly secure, and the teams have to plug holes and keep the networks running, even as security professionals barrage them with cyber attacks. I think that it's just amazing how we're able to go across the whole country and find these like, really smart, just young people that are, I don't even know how they do it, defending the network. You know, and I am a network geek. Eight finalist teams come together for the championship. The winners get this trip to Orlando, the chance to work with some real IT professionals, and bragging rights. Well, with the knowledge of cyber defense, you can go anywhere in system administration, network administration, IT running the bells and whistles. You can go into computer network defense or attack so that you can grow your capabilities so that you're an attacker or you're now a defender for a network. Instead of just being the admin, now you're the guy who runs the firewall or the girl who controls the antivirus system, you've gotten a better exposure. Uh, going forward, you can also carry that into almost any professional uh, computer user role. We need people who have academic backgrounds in math and science, and for these kinds of skills in cyberspace, we're going to need computer scientists and computer engineers. We're going to need people with languages, and we're also going to need people who can think critically. In some cases, we'll need people with some of the softer sciences as well. We'll need psychology uh, majors, and we'll need others. The Air Force Association has big plans for Cyber Patriot. Next year, they want to expand it so more students have a chance to get their hands dirty with cybersecurity. Their aim remains clear. They want to get more kids interested in the field, so when they begin their careers, they'll get in on the front lines of cyber defense. For Dice News, I'm Mark Pfeffer, and we now return you to your regular desktop.